morning everybody and welcome to the first vlog of 2020 actually the first vlog in a very long time i thought i'd take you guys along with me today uh to class and whatnot because i have something special going on i'm doing an experiment for one of my classes totally like independent assignment i'll show you what it looks like this is the assignment so uh it's pretty like involved i have to do everything from scratch I have my word list that I'm going to have my participant read, or my phrase list rather, and Jessica is actually going to be my participant. We're going to be going to the phonetics lab in uh, Camel Hall, which is the linguistics building on campus, and it's a pretty cool place, so I'll show you around. I also have a few other things going on today, and I'm going to kind of talk to you guys about what's been going on lately, so stay tuned. recording in that literally looks like an apocalypse bunker. We're gonna get started. She's got her gear on. Hi. She's inspired to become a pilot now with her little headset. She's gonna read her sentences and we're gonna record them and I'm not gonna stare at her or make her nervous through the glass window and it'll be sounding like a baby. So exciting. I'm gonna read my sentences. You're gonna read your sentences. <laughs> All right guys, I've got Jessica's sentences here. Um, so the plan was to uh, go through everything on Prot, which is the software that we use to analyze the WAV files. Um, and you could see, I don't know why the formant, like where the spectrogram is, like why you can't see the formants. Maybe you just need to go in. I don't know. Oh yeah, anyway, so like these lines, that's like what I'm looking at the difference between those lines when she speaks in modal voice, which is just like regular versus creaky, which is like when you talk like this a little bit. But um, as you can see, everything is just like one giant WAV file with all of these speech uh, utterances. And that's not what we need. I tried to separate it on GarageBand, but unfortunately I couldn't export it. Um, at a high enough bit rate, so I need to go back to campus to do it. So unfortunately, I can't show you the analysis part of the lab just yet, um, but maybe I'll include that in a, a later vlog, so just keep an eye out. Sorry about that once again, but yeah, as you can see, I would just be going through this. Oh my god, that was way too close. <laughs> going through this and then looking at the formants, which are these red lines, and then taking measurements of the formats for the vowels um and comparing like i said modal and creaky so nothing crazy i would do like some statistical tests and write a little lab report aside from the experiment it is midterms week so this is the lab that i have due on the 19th but this coming wednesday i have a midterm i'm really nervous for this midterm for this class it's really uh intense and like heavy on physics, which is obviously not my background, so we'll see how I do. There's a lot of acoustics involved with it. Um, I'm gonna have to do a lot of studying, which isn't great considering that I'm starting a new job at the same time, but what can we do? And then I also have this research proposal for another experiment that I have to do. Do on Monday, I have no idea what I'm gonna do for this one yet, so that's spectacular, but I'll figure it out. And then I have like the usual homework for my ASL class, which is usually like 30 to 50 pages of reading and then a short little like two paragraph reading response, no big deal. I just turned in the midterm for that class, which is a relief. It was a newspaper that we did. I'll show you actually. So this is not the complete thing. Um, obviously you can see the Latin, but I did do my two sections and then I sent this off to my uh, the rest of my group to complete their sections. Our topic was autism. Um, and then I wrote these little articles, one about a 17 year old boy who was nonverbal and learned how to communicate through a method called RPM. 
and then another one like a little review of a new show featuring an autistic character and actress um yeah and then like you know resources and stuff like that so yeah it's been an interesting project i'm definitely happy that it's over we had like specific requirements for the format but now that it's done i'm like chilling in that class so guys you know me and jessica had to do it to them we got in and out of course oh my god you can't even see it like true california natives and it's gonna be so good quick update i haven't really filmed much since i finished class but i didn't really have a lot going on with school today um after that i just came back and jessica and i went to the mall i had to return some things that i ordered online that didn't fit and you know we just looked around bought a few things for work i'll show you that right now i bought new clothes for my new job that i'm starting tomorrow got this little shirt at marshall's for like 12 bucks same thing with this one it was also 12.99 oops it's really out of focus and then just a pair of black slacks to wear to work which is always good and then i bought these uh, nice leggings as well that were $10. I don't know where the tag went. So really excited about those. They look like some leggings that I ruined when I was um, painting the headboard for my bed. And then I got this really cozy jacket from Express, which was kind of unexpected, but I just exchanged it for another item that I had that didn't fit me. Um, and yeah, and then I got these earrings to where to work as well so i'm all set for tomorrow and i am starting my new job tomorrow i had my orientation yesterday i'm pretty excited um yeah i'm just like working in bridal i think i had mentioned this before i yeah i used to do bridal when i was like in high school and community college so i'm coming back because it's just a good reliable job and I'm really excited to be back in the industry. Honestly, I love working with brides. It's really fun, even though it's a lot of hard work. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, it's definitely not always fun. It's like very emotional sometimes, but I enjoy it and I'm pretty good at it. I've been doing it for like four, almost five years. And so we will see how that goes. But other than that, I'm just working on homework tonight. Also, we went to In-N-Out. Here's the footage of that. <laughs> Uh, we went to In-N-Out and I'm just going to be doing homework for the rest of the night. It's already almost 10 o'clock and I have work tomorrow in 12 hours. So I need to be prepared and fresh and be my best self. And that's the rest of the evening. So thank you all so much for tuning in. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And I will see my subscribers next Saturday at 3 p.m. Bye.